thought I'd get on here and talk with you guys for a little bit. I don't really feel like talking about my pregnancy right now. I just have been in this mood where I am so tired of being pregnant. I've been pregnant since January 2020 and sometimes it feels like a time loop that I am stuck in that I cannot get out of. I feel like I've tried a lot of different things. I've I continue to pray and I hope that I can get through this pregnancy, go into labor in the next few months. However, our timing is God's timing and the way we think things ought to go, it sometimes takes quite a bit of time for that to occur. I, I know that a lot of people don't understand this. Like oftentimes I feel like I have to make up my due date if someone asks because they simply would not understand. Even if I tell them I don't have a due date or I've been pregnant since January 2020, they don't understand. It's like it goes in one ear and out the other. And a lot of it has to do with consciousness, like how aware are they? And that's why I just have to, uh, to make it up. <laughs> and just leave it at that. If I, if <laughs> they come back to me, and say, oh, oh, you're, you thought that you were due, then I might say, uh, I've actually been pregnant since January 2020. But that hardly ever happens. People forget they have their own lives. So it is what it is. I know that a lot of people know that I've been pregnant for a long time. And, you know, it's like this lady said the other day, I have to wake up and remember that I'm pregnant. Every single day I have to look at that. <laughs> it sucks. Uh, but I find a way to get through it. Um, today I'm going to talk about my artwork. I have a, a website called www.alightembrace.com. I've had that as my business name for a few years now and have stuck with it. It, it fits me. It suits me well. I, the, I see that color is created through light. Light rays. There's a vibration that every color holds and a frequency. And uh, so a light embrace felt just right because I would like to embrace people with what I can do through color with the use of light. I've got a painting here, it's called Vastness. Now this is a print. This is sold just like this on my website. And I highly suggest you to put it in a floating frame. I think that has, that gives it the best presentation. I really like oceans. I've painted several oceans. I'm still working on a black and white ocean that's big. Uh, but I spent a few years where I was able to live by the ocean and love visiting it. I think that it's, a, it can, it's cleansing, it's refreshing, grounding. I love the noise of the ocean. So I have several paintings that are just the ocean. And then I've got Moonlight Spark. The moon goes through cycles just as we do, and I always enjoy looking up, seeing the full moon. So that is available as well, and that's available at 11 by 14 with 16 by 20 mat board. And then I've got this one. This is what we will be painting on December 7th, so feel free to look out for that. You can go to Patreon www.patreon.com slash a light embrace and you can find that I will be putting these links down below and I've got this one that I just finished this week these are only a few that I'm showing I don't want to like show my whole portfolio but uh, I really like this one I think that there's been a lot of distortion about uh, the unity of man and woman I do believe that God ordains that and I think there, that we need to get back to what God calls a man and woman's relationship to look like and uh, uh, remove distractions, remove things that hinder our ability to walk in a holy re relationship but that man and woman can walk in. And so that um, painting has a lot of symbolism there's a unification or of heaven on earth with through one of those symbols and the flower of life 
and the Star of David, which brings in, I believe, the unity of how we are God's children. And then the DNA wrapped through uh, man and woman and how there is a destiny for two to come together. And so uh, those that's just kind of like a little taste of what I paint. Uh, this lion in the background is also something that I have painted. I've spent countless hours painting lions. I've always enjoyed lions because they hold a lot of majesty. They are the um, most beastly of in the wild and it also represents God. So God's presence. Uh, anyway, so feel free to hop on my website or join my Patreon. I'm I'm giving out a free painting uh, for those who subscribe for $3 a month. That's a painting or a print. It just depends on the month. I'm also giving out, um, on, if you want to do $7, you can join me in like a three to six hour studio per month. It just depends on if you want to do both days. And then also $15 if you just want to have fun and print like the owl or um, paint the owl uh, with a group of people. You know, you. You, uh, I'll be prov providing you with what you need. These are just canvas and a few paint colors. Uh, sometimes I'll say, hey, your choice on what you want to use when it comes to the background. Um, but feel free to join me on that. And I look forward to uh, hearing from each of you.